So today we're going to talk once again about The Last of Us Part 2. We're going to be talking about some new information we got that leads us to further speculate and try to figure out when exactly we can expect this game to launch. We went over a lot of stuff in the past and a lot of it really does kind of point to 2019 being the year that we see this game launch. We know it is a very, very highly anticipated game. It's easily going to be one of the biggest games that launches this generation. But one thing we know for sure is that Sony and Naughty Dog are not going to rush this process and they are certainly not going to announce a release date until they know 110% for sure with certainty that it's going to be ready for that date. And I think this is all a good thing, honestly. And um, the information I'm talking about here, it says that The Last of Us 2 is in its final stages of development, says Games co-director. So let's read a little bit of what it has to say here. The Last of Us 2 is easily one of the most anticipated new games of 2019 and beyond, so it's no wonder that every subsequent week has brought with it more speculation, gossip, and rumor about the title's potential release date. The upcoming PS4 game, according to a recent retailer leak, may be arriving as early as October 2019, which has since been corroborated by news that Naughty Dog has wrapped filming on the sequel and rumors that we'll be hearing more from Sony before E3 2019 is over, despite their absence from this year's show. The Last of Us 2 is even listed next to other 2019 releases like Rage 2 and Days Gone as coming soon on the official PlayStation website, but a recent update via Twitter from the game's co-director Anthony Newman suggests a 2019 launch isn't yet guaranteed. In a tweet announcing that Naughty Dog is recruiting to hire a large number of animators, game designers, and programmers to join The Last of Us 2's team, Newman said that the studio is now seeking to close out work on the game, suggesting it is in the final stages of development. That's good news for The Last of Us fans, as it sounds as though no huge Uncharted 4-style delays are impending, but it also leaves the window open for at least another year of development on the game before it finally releases. Think about how long it often takes to hire, train, and get people working on a project at any company, let alone one as busy as Naughty Dog. We could be talking several months before those new employees are actually able to help close out development, a process which in itself has an infamously flexible timeline. In short, yes, it's great that the studio is finishing up its development with The Last of Us 2, but that doesn't mean we can expect to see the sequel launching before Christmas. That said, Sony needs to have something to show for itself come the holiday season, so perhaps Death Stranding or Final Fantasy VII Remake will fill the gap and fill out the list of best PS4 games to play this year. Either that or we'll be hearing more about the recently announced PS5. So, yeah, I know that was a lot of reading, but I wanted to convey all the information for you because it did kind of give us a little preface and a little, you know, refresher on where we are now. The information we've got that really does point to The Last of Us 2 possibly being a game that launches in 2019. And honestly, before this came out, I would have told you that it really, really does seem likely that 2019 is going to be the year, and it still could be. We have to understand that we still haven't gotten anything official from Sony or Naughty Dog, and honestly, I'm eagerly awaiting to see if we are going to get an update anytime soon, possibly closer to E3, and potentially a release date, or at the very least, a release window. We did get that inside information, uh, supposedly, from an insider, I should say, that we are going to, in fact, be getting an update on this game before E3 or around that time. If that doesn't happen, then I don't know. At that point, it's just anybody's guess. Now, with this information here, this is pretty much official. I mean, they're clearly hiring new people to close out the game, as it says here. And that could mean that there is actually more work to be done on the game than maybe we originally thought. And I don't have a problem with this. I really don't. I mean, we don't know what the rest of this year looks like for Sony. We know we got Days Gone. We're going to be getting Medieval, but I don't think anybody's really looking at Medieval as like the big, uh, you know, second title that we're going to get from Sony this year. But maybe that is all Sony's going to have in terms of, uh, you know, games that we're going to have to look forward to for the remainder of 2019. That would be a little bit disappointing for sure. I'm sure Sony has something planned. As this article said, maybe there's Death Stranding, Final Fantasy VII Remake, 
When it comes to Death Stranding, no, I do not think it's going to be a 2019 game. I mean, I know for a fact at this point it's not going to be a 2019 game. There's just, I mean, the the window is closing, right? Like, that's the whole point here. The window is closing for Sony to announce the release date of one of these games if they're going to be launching this year. I think it would be more likely for Sony to release The Last of Us 2 this year than to release Death Stranding because Death Stranding just seems like it still has a long way to go to whereas everything we've been hearing about The Last of Us Part 2 it sounds like it's much further along in development but as I said before they're not going to rush this and if it takes until 2020 for Naughty Dog to feel like they they made the game exactly how they want it to make it everything is 100% ready to go and that's just what it's going to be I'm not going to lie to the idea of Sony wanting to release a major first party title such as The Last of Us Part 2 during the holiday season seems a little bit not like them, I guess is the best way to put it. We know that Sony typically likes to avoid that and it's understandable because you have to think if if that leaked release date is true of October 2019, um, there's a good chance Sony's going to be going up against a lot of other games. Now, that's not to say that there's any game out there that will necessarily overshadow The Last of Us Part Two because I don't think that's the case. I think it's actually quite the opposite. I think The Last of Us Part Two would overshadow most other games, and it would be very difficult for any other game releasing in that same time frame or very close to it to actually compete. But the real problem is just uh, it would be fighting for gamers' time and money and while I think it does certainly earn it and and I think it will earn it and it does deserve it that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to translate the way that we might think it will so maybe maybe this is kind of pointing to the opposite of what we think maybe the last of us part 2 is in fact not going to be a 2019 game and it's actually going to be a spring 2020 game I think that that would actually make a lot of sense because that would be a really ideal time I think for Sony to release a game like this but if I'm being honest I don't think it matters that much in terms of when they decide they want to release this game the truth is Sony could drop The Last of Us Part 2 at any time and it's gonna it's gonna do amazing right like it's gonna blow away anything near it uh, regardless of, of what is near it and it's gonna be able to hold its own with anything else um, I don't know, man. Like, when I think about 2019 for the PS4 and, like, the remainder of what big games we can expect, one thing I will say for sure is that regardless of what Sony's plans are when it comes to the games they're going to release to finish out the year other than Medieval, you know, they did mention Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm unsure if that's an exclusive or not. As far as I know, now I could be wrong on this, and I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments down below. I haven't heard it being officially announced for Xbox. Maybe it was kind of like low key. I don't know. Maybe it will be an exclusive or a timed exclusive. And it does seem like Square Enix is kind of getting ready to finally do something with this and potentially have the first part out maybe by the end of this year. We don't know. Uh, but one thing I will say for sure is that Sony will absolutely need to give uh, significant amounts of information on some of these games they have in development. I mean, there's no way that they can really expect people to go the remainder of this year without more information on Death Stranding, without more information on The Last of Us Part Two, and even Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe they will push it to the edge. Maybe they will wait until PSX to divulge most of this information. But I will say that if, if anything's going to happen, it's it's probably going to go down like this. What I mean to say is if this game, The Last of Us Part Two, is actually going to be a 2020 game, the way I see it going down is within the next two months, we are going to get a huge blowout of information on the game, uh, some trailers, and we're actually going to get a release date. And that release date is going to be uh, sometime in spring of 2020. And some people will definitely be a little bit let down because they were hoping it would be this year. But at the same time, the hype is going to be real and people are going to be eagerly awaiting that time frame. And then what Sony can do for the remainder of the year is maybe just kind of try to coast, I guess we could say, going into PSX. And then PSX is when they're going to give us a big update, possibly a massive PS5 blowout. We don't know. For, you know, we really don't know. At this, everything I'm saying is just purely speculative. 
and that's all we can do. I mean, Sony has been playing their cards very close to the chest, and I hope that going forward in the next couple of months, we have some exciting information. I'm sure we're going to get some stuff. You know, I'm sure Sony and everybody involved is eager to share more, but it's all about timing when it comes to these things. And, you know, they don't want to have situations where they they say one thing and then another thing happens or they re reveal something or release something too early or they give unrealistic you know expectations so yeah there it is that's the latest information on the last of us part two i honestly i can't wait to hear more about this game and i know that you guys are probably starting to lose your minds as well because we've been talking about it a lot and we still haven't gotten anything but just hold it you know hang in there i think uh, if i'm being honest and this is what i'll close the video out with i think pretty much anybody who's excited for this game realistic really honestly has no problem waiting for it because we know we know it's going to be a phenomenal experience when it drops and we're willing to wait for that because it will be worth the wait so yeah that does it for the video guys let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below do you think it's going to be 2019 still or are you now thinking maybe it's going to be more realistically a 2020 game i will be very interested to see what you guys have to say be sure you leave the video like if you enjoyed it if you uh like this content really helps out lets me know you guys you know are enjoying the content i'm putting out here be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new hit the bell notification icon and feel free to share the video out on top of all that but until next time guys take care